Yo, YouTubers, what's up? Reese here, and here to show you a card magic trick. Now, is any card magic trick? This one goes into a special one. It is called the Ab the Cadabra card. Now, it is a, a magic trick that allows that card to multiply the suit into a different um, style way. Well, as it is, I'm going to show you that right now. Without any further ado, let's get to it right now. So here, I, uh, I have the card here. This one card here. Okay, watch. And by magic and abracadabra, it m multiplies. Again, watch closely at this. As is now, I'm gonna reveal the secret behind this to you right now. This one here goes into street magic. Here I'm gonna show you how to create this. First, I'm gonna show you the ins and outs on this card, and then I'm going to show you just how to make this yourself. Okay, first. You see this? Okay, now I'll show you the, you the, the ins and the outs. Okay, so here is the cadaver card. This is the one that I've made. I actually made this cadaver Dabber card. And I'm here to expose it to you tonight. Okay, so here is the gimmick right here. This piece right here. And here we have a different numbered card with the same suit. And this is the same suit as what you'll see here. These go together cr creating the um, multiplying suits like this. Okay. So here card hidden Bent, and only they see this. Just like that. You want to be quick. Like that. And then by magic, you'll get them multiplying on the card. So now that I show, I've shown you the ins and the outs. Now I'm gonna show you how to, to make this one. Okay, so here are the components that you'll see just right here. You need two different cards with the same suit. Make sure you look for a, uh, a busy card and a not so busy card. Okay, here are just a few things that you'll you will be needing for this. An exacto an exacto knife, be careful the blade is sharp. I don't supervision is required when using this. Let's look. Right there. Look how sharp this is. So you're gonna going to need that. What you're gonna need is some scissors to cut. And you'll need is some scotch tape. Transparent tape. 
and you'll need on it to, to two cards that you'll see just right here. So here is a not so busy card, and this one here is the busy card that you'll see just right here. Okay, so what you're going to do here is you want to take your scissors and cut like this. That way it gets a nice good straight edge. And again to the opposite side. Like that. So now it should look like this. Okay. What you want to do from here is take your not so busy card and placed it the other one that you made onto it be nice and flush like that take your um your um transparent tape and give a nice good hunk about that size Okay, make sure that they are together, hold, flush, tape, goes on. This will act like a hinge. And then you just do this. And here we're going to now is trim the excess tape off. Like that. So now it should come out just like this. Okay, so once here, you're going to get this. A nice, great hinge, which is what this is right here. It'll create the hinge. What you want to do is hold onto here. So that way it does not flash open like this. Okay. So here is your your made up cadaver card. And then you get that. Make sure it stays flush. You gotta be careful of the sides. That way it, it stays intact. From the right upper corner stays intact. Move to two or whatever number you choose. And same with the the um bottom left corner just like that you could do this to a face card or a number card a very very sim simple make but makes for a very powerful magic trick okay so here is like the one that I just shown you like this Make sure you practice um, syn synchron uh, synchronizing with this and speed. And it'll come out just like that. So here is the one that I've made. And here is the one that I've made just before during the video. I'll show you mine. Here was the one that I've made. Here is the one that we've just made. You can see? Just like that. So again, make sure to hide that and to bend a little bit.
just like that. Same goes for the other one. Like this. So now um, I'll add the two together that way. I could do the five or the two. Um, it's best to make um, a few, a few cards like this. That way, they'll definitely su surprise a lot of people with this. You could do it to a face card, add that to it, or any other cards as well, too. Right there. That's all there is to it. Very simple um, one to make. It also makes a one that, that you could do for parties um, on the street as well too. Tip, make sure that you have a duplicate with you. That way, once you end up doing this, you're going to see that, right? So what you want to do is take the card that you see here. Get a duplicate to after you make that change. So this again. And then quick ditch this. And then pull out the duplicate so they can take a look at it for examination. So here you get your, your, your gimmick, just right here. Make sure you have your other one into your pocket. That way, this, once this is done, drop into that and retrieve the, the uh, duplicate card from there and then hand it right over to them. Make sure that you're using old cards um, for making the magic trick. So I let you guys know I'll put that as well too. That way, um, you can keep your playing cards nice and intact and just use what you'll see here. These right here. These are old cards that I have all on the floor. And that's what I've, um, took them with and constructed the cadaver card with just these old cards that you'll see just right here. So here, I'll show what I mean about face cards. You could probably do, a, let's say, a, um, a jack of diamonds for the, 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 the cadaver if you want to. Usually it's the number of cards. Could possibly use a face card and just um, put in another face card and uh, cadabra that one as as um, an alternative. But the um, best ones are the number ones. Here we got four of hearts, six of hearts. Like like these would work right there, right? Um, we have. Um, Nine of of um, diamonds. So any number card that you have in old cards can be used to create that very stunning magic trick. And with those, make these two that you'll see just right here. With those um, simple, uh, those three items that you'll see just right here. One, two, and three. And now this is the end of the video. You guys enjoyed this one. Um, this one here is how 
going for street magic. Um, and here, that just so, uh, so on you how to make it that way you can uh, take it with you and pull that magic trick off anywhere you go around the street. So go have fun with it and um, amaze and stun everyone with the cadaver card street magic trick. Made and handcrafted from just those items that I've just shown you. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. It's from yours truly, Reese. I'll see you back for more amazing videos just around the corner. Ciao for now. I'll see you then.